So Ronnie O'Sullivan to get the decider underway. He's been pushed all the way tonight by Yang Bing Tao, who had a chance to win 4-3. So, so win, sorry, 4-2, but here we are at 3-3, and it's anyone's match. Been high quality in every department from both players, potting, break building, safety play as well. But I guess in a decider, what really matters more than anything is nerve. Well, full-blooded attempt at the long red, but it didn't go in. Well, he's played that way all night, in fairness. He's gone for his shots. But the way he played it, he knew he really had to pot it. So first really good chance for O'Sullivan. Black spot area, a little congested, which he's always mindful of there, I think. Eight. the other red away then it means the black should pop to both corners which is what he's done so a definite chance here at the start of the decider for Ronnie O'Sullivan who has now won 31 ranking titles remember he's only five behind Stephen Hendry on that all-time list Hendry held so many records for so long you wondered if they could ever be broken but 
O'Sullivan is starting to chalk them off. Michael Georgiou, meantime, has won the fifth frame against Steve Maguire. So from 3 0, it's now 3 2. 25. Wow. That was out of nowhere really different to the ready missed to that pocket a couple of frames ago. But same result, he missed it. So, first chance to O'Sullivan, but he's puffing out the cheeks as he's back in his seat. But pressure on Yan Bing Tao here. He's looking at the red to the far corner, the yellow pocket. Again, there's, there's pressure on it. 40 nil down in the decider. Oh, he's potted it. Brilliant. Had to get that, otherwise it was probably match over. Says a lot about his bottle that he knocked it in. Didn't intend that, but uh, still on that red, all the one to the middle. I think uh, you'd have to say this has been the match of the tournament so far. It's still very much in the balance. Again, no. wanting to come past the yellow. Just, just gone wrong already, nodding his head as if to say this uh, is harder than it should have been. Started with catching the red, now he's caught the yellow. So he's going to need the long stuff for the brown. Looking to try and play himself back into ideal position. It gets harder and harder when you lose position, ideal position, that is. Feels like every ball at the moment is a pressure shot. Started with one, that pot to the yellow bag. No, he's missed that one, though. As I was saying, at this point, there's pressure on shots like that and eventually he's broken down. So 27 in the game. Sullivan with another chance here. Having missed a red to the left middle earlier in the frame. It's going to come down to getting this cluster open in terms of winning the frame at this visit. Missed them all together. Eight. Now what about this one then? Again, tough. Doesn't have to take it on. He's 35 in front. Uh, nowhere near. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, 
Eight. Giving it a bit of a snarl. More really missing the cluster that was um, maybe an indication that he's just sweating a little bit here to get the match won. Because it was a big target. Now Yambing Tao's got them open. Doesn't want the in off though. Does not want that in. And he's okay. Just. So 35 points. O'Sullivan's lead. But Red's opening up. Favours Yambing Town, the man trailing. It's been a great match, this, very enjoyable. And uh, the most exciting phase now, the decider. Could be whoever pots the next red wins the match. Could be. And he got close to that one. Long potting's been very good tonight. He really has, and there's another one. And the good kiss actually on the blue. Although having said that, he's slightly wrong side of the green for the next red. Don't want to be taking the pink. Just the angle he's got on the green isn't isn't ideal here. Doesn't want to catch the yellow. Could work out okay. Five. Forty in front. Can pot this red, but going to be clattering into other reds, so position not absolutely guaranteed. Well, he's missed the red. And he's surveying the damage. Oh, a bit nervy now, this match, and uh, another chance for Yambing Tao. Yeah, he's feeling it a little bit. Nobody's immune to pressure. Dead silence in the audience wondering what the next twist is in this decider. It's been plenty already. Seem to like the contact there. Three reds remaining. He's 31 behind. Sullivan keeping an eye on the other match. 3 2 Maguire over Michael Giorgio there. He was a little straight on the green. But he's played a good shot here. Pressure on all these, though. Thirteen. 
it, I think it would be a better win in some ways. Although he outplayed O'Sullivan in China, the fact that he's gone to the wire, if he won in a decider, he would feel just terrific. This is still awkward, though. And you're going to need extensions and all sorts here. 20. Well, he's not playing the pot. You can't blame him. Well, he wasn't going to. <laughs> well, maybe a change of heart here. He is getting the extensions and all the long stuff out. It's one of those, I think, had he missed that, people would have said he shouldn't have played it, but he hasn't missed it. Which is all that matters. 21. Still not out of the woods here. The red's gone on the cushion. Cue ball hasn't finished great. Maybe this is time to try and get O'Sullivan in trouble instead of pushing the boat out. going to need the blue, for example, which is on the cushion at the moment. That's what he's done. He's used the yellow to chip the blue out. It's a clever shot, really. And the match still anyone's 19 in it. Ronnie O'Sullivan leads the decider by 19 points on the last red. It could not be more exciting, really, and he's missed it. So, does he put him in again? Does he take the miss? Problem is, if he does that, of course, O'Sullivan could play a really good safety, but I suppose put it in his, in his hands, at least. Of course, a second miss would mean a warning that a third miss would be end of match. And they're going to get the screen up because this needs to be right at this stage. Jan Shears and the marker Rob Spencer will get this sorted out. There's the before. It's ever so slightly off, but the right line, it's only marginally off yeah he, he, Ronnie's spotted it that it's not quite in the right spot just needs to be slightly forward that's yeah just slightly forward I also thought it was further but the screen says different yeah yeah he, uh, Sullivan knows because he's playing the shot that it's just got to be a little bit further forward Well, it's clearly from the screen, not in the right place. I don't understand why there's an argument here. Oh, Sullivan is absolutely correct. You get his hand in. It can be a little bit farther up, but when the screen says, see, when I put my finger there, a little far. Oh, Sullivan's right here. We could see it ourselves, we could see it with the naked eye. It wasn't in the right place. Just slightly off, had to be slightly further forward. He knows that because of where his queuing hand was. Yeah, I also thought it was a little bit further on, but when the screen says different... I don't understand, well, I don't understand why he's saying the screen said different, it didn't. That must be it, eh? <laughs> I only see one ball. Yeah? 
according to the screen, it must be that one. Yeah, I know. What do you think? Can you go a little bit further up? You don't know. Well, it's not up to Yan Bing Tao. So why we do this? It's screen. not up to Yan Bing Tao to say anything. It's up to the referee and the marker, okay, and I'm, I'm from the screen we saw, the cue ball needed to move slightly forward. A little bit further. It's clear from that that it's got to move forward. Not by much, but enough to get he can get his hand in. He was absolutely right and right to stand his ground. We're better than technology, you know. It was something like that. Okay now? Yeah. Well it's certainly it's nearer than it was. That's about as good as we're gonna get it. So attempt, attempt number two. In the end, he's played a good shot, I think. He may be able to see the red, but well, he can see it, but this is not easy. Although he's taken all sorts on tonight. Now, where's it finish? So after all that, O'Sullivan leads by 15. With this chance again to clinch what would be a narrow victory, but a victory all the same. <laughs> Looks like he's going to do it. It's been a great match. They both played their part, Yan Bing Tao included. He needs yellow and green. So this is the last chance he can go wrong, really. Position on the green. Ten. But he's on it. So this is match ball. And what a great match. The best match of the tournament so far, no doubt about that. And it looks like it's been won by Ronnie O'Sullivan. A dramatic deciding frame. Checking that scoreboard again, but he's 28 in front. Left-handed on the brown to make sure. A uh, great win. He's had to battle. He was an edgy decider, but he's going to be the first man into the quarterfinals of this World Grand Prix. Yan Bing Tao, though, has yet again shown us all the signs that he is very much a top player of the future. He pushed Ronnie O'Sullivan, he took the game to him, he made him work for this victory. But it's victory all the same for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Four frames to three over Yan Bing Tao. He had breaks of 121, 58 and 75. Yan Bing Tao 54, 71 and 84. In the end though, it came down to a nervy deciding frame finish and a little smile from O'Sullivan as he exits the arena. He's safely into the quarterfinals, a winner here by four frames to three. What great drama.